All right, here we are early afternoon, Texas day, a little bit windy outside, inside doing a photo shoot. Handling several cars out of a private collection here. Actually been coming here for a few years and he thins down now and then, but a lot of special cars, unique cars in the collection. And this is definitely a unique car, very sinister. 1966 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. Very unique in its own sense, but uh, even more so the triple black and its factory equipped powertrain, which is a 421 cubic inch, 338 horsepower, four barrel V8, connected to a uh, factory four speed. And uh, we're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Very neat looking car, sinister, something you want to just get on the highway and take a cruise, but nobody would ever know that it had a four speed. In the, big horsepower block underneath the hood. Um, history says that, uh, oral history says this belonged to a GM executive. You just don't see these cars with four speed. Um, factory production broadcast sheet is included with it. We'll have that for you. Uh, older preservation, I wouldn't call it a restoration. It looks like it's been painted once, many years ago. Paint's a little bit thin in areas. We'll cover it up. We'll We'll cover it where we see it here, like right here. It's a little, it's a little thin. You can see the gray in there. Usually on the edges, where probably somebody buffed it at one time or another, and a couple of edges in the back around the side. But you really can't see it unless you really study it. I'm having to look for it while we're here. Uh, 421 badges here. Black leather interior, black top, factory power steering, factory power brakes. All the chrome and bright work actually appears as original on the car. It doesn't appear to have been replated or anything like that. It's in good condition. We've actually had it up on the lift and uh, we've spent some time retrieving the numbers. Underneath the hood, the, uh, it is a WG coated 421. We'll have photos of that at Spud's Garage for you. So you could pick the body for a few flaws here and there, but I'll tell you what, it's whistle straight and mirror like for sure. So with the lighting, it's really hard for me to tell, but on some areas, you'll find a little bit of thin paint. See the reflections of the other cars in the collection. Very fun car to drive. Actually, a lot of horsepower for this big car. Makes it a very nice cruiser to have horsepower with big weight like this. You'll see the factory four speed here. Rabbit's foot on the dash, all factory dash, has a uh, heater, no air conditioning in it. Factory style audio, this is a leather seat in it. I would ha venture to say that's probably the original upholstery in this car. This car was cared for over the years by looking at it. Power top on it, which is a neat option, we'll actually lower it here. Door jam to door jam. Door paint or the door jam finish seems to be original of the car. It's an original triple black car. Again, you can see my reflections in it. So you got a little bit of a thinness here on the paint. But again, I think I'm, uh, it's really going to be hard to see with the camera. cool car just the way it is I wouldn't change a thing unless you want to do a high level Concorde restoration but uh, this car should be enjoyed just the way it is or could easily be enjoyed just the way it is see a little thin spot there I'm trying to pick out what there is the idea is that it's not perfect but it is very nice and a great looking car you will get attention with this car and they will not believe you that it's got a factory four-speed transmission. I believe that's a glass rear window or Lexan. I couldn't tell you. I'm not. Uh, it's got a DOT stamp on the back here. Should be glass, tempered glass. Starts up, runs beautifully. A little bit of thinness there on the paint. Again, factory finishes in the door jams. See an old oil sticker right here. OK, 
Catch all the reflections in the body. Really no entry wear on the seat. A little bit of wear right a little bit of spring breakdown wear right there. Factory seat belts, seat belts in location. Let's look at it as an emergency frat flasher. We took it for a drive down to the park. Good driving. Kind of feel like you just want to go for a long cruise in it. 66705 on the odometer. Original steering wheel. Get fired up here for you. You can feel the torque from this one just, just sitting here revving it. Battery uh, gauge, amp gauge works fine. It's charging. It's got about a quarter tank of fuel. Oil pressure's uh, almost 60 pounds. Temperature, we really haven't warmed it up. We just pulled it in the shop here. We will try the radio. We can't get some, see if we can get any static out of it or anything like that. Nope. Typical. Uh, Put a hidden audio in it, or you can send these out and have them converted into Bluetooth if you like. Mention the rabbit's foot on the other side, that's kind of neat. Wipers work. Put the headlights on. See where you got the Pontiac Chief high beam there. Turn it off, turn off the high beams. There we go. Factory van in its location. Awesome car, uniquely rare. All right, we we'll get you underneath the hood. Very nice uh, factory style in its presentation little bit of extra factory or upgraded chrome trim on the valve covers and air filter top. It's a 421 cubic inch, 338 horsepower, four barrel V8. That's believed to be original to this car. Uh, we went over all the numbers that we possibly could. We'll have those documented at Spud's Garage for you. Four speed transmission, so it's definitely a rare combination in a convertible like this. Uh, it does have a just blow the engine unit or the EUN number, the engine unit identification number, it does have a WG which signifies it as a 421 cubic inch block. We'll fire it up here for you and let you run, let you hear it run. Pretty much uh, power brakes on it and power steering. Other than that, no additional equipment. All right, fired it up here for you. Nice and smooth running. Quite a bit of horsepower underneath this uh, big old black beauty. Let's hear it run. All right, got it fired up here, taking it back for the drive from the uh, photo shoot. Tried to get through shifting gears on the way here. I just couldn't get it done with the camera in my hand. So we're gonna do our best to get this done on the way back. I can tell you it shifts through all four gears just fine. No synchro issues. Reverse is wonderful. Waiting for traffic to switch hands with the camera after I get going. I'm going to be easy it on the way there. Get it straight. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. A truck up here. Shifting it back into second. Picked the wrong time to head down the road, but you get it. First. Second. Third, fourth. Power top. Okay, 
go ahead and go back up with it. Does have a tanu cover in the trunk. We'll cover that with you if we haven't already. All right, we'll get you in the trunk here. Stock style original, that type of thing. Original mat in the trunk, spare. Has the jack. Tanu cover for the top when it's down. You'll see the rock solid floor pans here. We actually will get it up on the lift here shortly. Right, we have this uniquely rare Bonneville 421 four speed up on the lift here for you. We spent a little bit of time, pulled the date code off the tranny uh, and the casting on the Muncie. Overall, very solid car. Non restored undercarriage, but very solid original sheet metal. Has air shocks in the rear. Dual exhaust up over the axle. We'll have plenty of still photos for you at spudsgarage.com. Four speed, uh, we were able to pull a date code off of up there. Big Buick brake drums on it, or a Pontiac. Again, very uniquely rare. Bird's eye view of the bottom side here on the outside. Finishes are nice. Patina and character on the uh, factory trim. 421 badges, those are original to the car obviously. Sneak through here. Uniroyal, Uniroyal tire paw tires. All the rockers look nice on it. 